Hey everyone, uh, this is my uh, Nissan 300ZX 1991. Sorry for the noise, it's really, really windy out here. As you can see, 300ZX, long wheelbase. Alright, so I'm just taking the uh, brake pads out, the rear brake pads, as they have worn down to the metal. I just thought I'd do a small, uh, well, instructional video on how to actually do that. Now, it's actually really, really simple. Once you've taken your wheel off, um, uh, all you have to do is, I might have to put the phone down at some point. Be careful with this and don't lose it because you do actually need this. Okay. Might be a bit difficult to get out, but the other side's already done, so. I forgot to do the uh, video for the other side. There we go, there's one out and there's the other. Put it somewhere where you're not going to lose it. I will probably lose it there. Um, anyway, so as you can see, a screw head on it. Makes it a lot easier if you do take it off with that. Gets the first bit out. And then you'll find, obviously, it doesn't really move. So, best option. Uh, okay, it's going to be a bit weird. One sec. Uh, it's not going to work. Right. Best option is to push from this end and also rotate that as if you're going to take it out. Uh, so I'll put the phone down and I'll show you what's after. Alright, so now they're both out. As you can see, uh, once you take one off, this will probably pop like off. So I held it while I took that out. Uh, I actually, to aid me, I use this, I put it in the back of the hole, as you can see there, it pushes through while rotating the screwdriver to take it out. Okay, so once that's out and once that like cross section is out, the other one will just pull out using your fingers. All right, so these are the brake pads. Uh, Obviously the piston has obviously gone into that. I'll try and give it a bit of space by pulling very slightly, well, not very slightly, but... Uh, and then brake pad should just come out. It's actually got... Mm, it's not bad. Not bad. Anyway, but compared to the new ones, no comparison, you can even see from that angle. Let me tip it down a bit. Now then, obviously with the other one, it's the exact same process. You need to give it a bit of space so you can pull it out. As you can see, it's wobbling at the minute. So if I keep putting the camera down, try to concentrate on two things at once. All right, so I'm pushing it with my thumb to try and get a bit of space. Hang on, I'll have to put it down a minute could use some sort of tool for this. I, I think there's special tools for this, to be honest. Let me uh, put the camera up. Hang on. Uh, it's getting there. Hang on. There we go. Alright, so there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let me just show you this real quick. This one is actually down to the bare metal. <laughs> it's a good job I've changed them. Oh dear me. And <laughs> let me show you. Oh dear god. So it's a good job that we're actually changing these today. <laughs> now as you can see, these are probably not going to fit in because of the piston and because they're a lot bigger. The pistons are used to, obviously, they've been set in the ways if you want. So we've got to push the pistons even more. Now, the way I've done this is I've actually, I know you shouldn't really do, what's that? Oh, oh actually I found something. Oh, the, 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 oh, <laughs> the, the actual bit on the brake 
is there. It weren't down to the metal, it had come off. That's not exactly great, but hey ho. Anyway, let's get to business. So, if you just put your screwdriver in there, I know you shouldn't really do this. You just push. Slowly but surely, your piston will go in further and further. Can't really see that in there. But it's going in, I can, I can feel it going in. It's getting easier actually. You might be able to see the screwdriver moving slightly. Right, cool. Once, once that's in, try and put your pad in. If it doesn't go in, do it some. Oh, no, perfect. Look at that, straight in. No issues. No issues. Oh, it's a bit wobbly, but. Once it's all together, it'll be it'll be fine. Okay, and it'll, you have to do it from the other side as well, as you can see. And it ain't gonna fit in there. So, screwdriver jobby again. Put it in there. Just push. You can see it's going in slightly. The discs aren't that badly worn, to be fair. That's why I haven't replaced them as well. I'll do that another day when they need doing. Okay. That should be enough. Right. So, you have to do put your pad in, do it the right way. Hang on. Bear with me. Alright, so now that piece is in, as you can see, it's there. Built in there, like so. And now putting it back together. So I find the easiest is to put one of these in first. As you can see, it's going in very nicely. Straight to through to the other end and that's stuck. I'll get my screwdriver. And just push it through. Okay. Now you've got to do this part simultaneously. I'm not very good with my words as you can probably tell. So let me just think which way this goes. Um, okay, so you put so you put one end in there, and the other will actually fit in there. Okay, so it's like a cross, and it'll go. This little thing will go over it. Oh, this part needs pushing down a bit more. There we go, it's in. Okay, oh, too far. Right. Okay, so what you have to do. Do that a bit more room. Right then. So what you have to do is push that down. And also push that across. Obviously, you won't be holding a camera, so it'll be ten times easier. There we go. Sorry for the wobbly camera. Alright, cool. Where's me? There we go. So, if you screw it in and move it, it makes it so much easier. There, perfect. Straight in. Look at that. That ain't coming out. Put it that way. <laughs> All right. So now it's time to put this little baby in. You got to wind. You got to line it up with the back there. Uh, the holes. Yeah, I know it's gone a bit blurry, but there's holes in there. So you've got to line it up perfectly so they both go in and secure these little pins that we've put in. <clears throat> I can't actually see at this moment in time. If you bear with me one minute. Okay, so once it's in, I had to put the camera down. It should look like that. And your hand should look like that. <laughs> okay. So really it isn't difficult at all, obviously. They might need bedding in, especially with discs, they will need bedding in. So when you take it out, just be careful. All is to do now is put the wheel back on. Happy days. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be plenty more videos, um, different tuning videos, etc. Uh, if you haven't, check out the introduction video um, of the Z itself. Alright guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.